I want to go for it. But then at the same time, I was like scared that it was going to come out really like, I don't know. I didn't know what was going to happen. Once you've committed, you've committed. Okay, so hi. As you can tell by the title, this is the bathroom, small bathroom makeover 2.0. You know the story, subscribers you know, right, about this small bathroom I'm going to show you. I'm in a minute, I'm going to cut to showing you how it used to look in the very beginning. And we lived with that small ass bathroom for so long in that space that it just needed an overhaul. So we got rid of the bathtub and the old shower and the shower curtain. We got rid of the old toilet and that tiny little sink that was literally this, literally this small. That's all we had. One little sink between the two of us, no countertop around it. It was just, it was just a disaster for two people. It was perfect for one person. So we went through a whole makeover on that and I will cut to showing you how that looked so you can just see some just some footage how that old kitchen look and you can see how we changed it to having like the white walls and then just a completely revamped version of it with getting rid of the old tub putting a standing shower gorgeous and just modernized it didn't stop there did we we decided to go a step further with this bathroom makeover decided to partner with Faro and ball they are a company that does fantastic paints and wallpaper for your home you can do it online or you know in person and we did it online and we spoke to them on zoom it was great i think it was patrick his name was and it was brilliant we showed him the bathroom the way it is currently and he just walked us through the whole process on i filled out a color questionnaire what colors do i not like what colors do i like and that was great because he started to get a feel of who I am and what kind of you know colors that I like fantastic and then we got online with him and then great we just chatted with him he was so nice wasn't he he was like really nice he was guy. awesome yeah he was, he was really really nice really helpful he was a Brit he was he is <laughs> we are <laughs> so he was brilliant no no lies he was great and we ended up getting a furrow and ball basically I call it a color wheel which is like you know the paint colors that they have and it's not only the paint colors but it's also swatches of the actual paint finish so we have like colors to choose from. yeah so you have like and they're all grouped by certain colors you know schemes and families and lots of like glossy finishes matte finishes dull like velvety finishes so you get to really know what the colors are like and these are extremely mm -hmm. accurate we went to the darker end because i wanted something bold for a small bathroom stay with me you'll understand why and I saw this one and this was the one we ended up going with. It's actually coming out a little bit brighter than it is in person. It's called Haig Blue. I'll put the color on the screen here. And uh, it's like a very really deep, nice. rich, I call this a grown up blue. Like I said, it's about two shades darker than what you're seeing right now. And you're gonna see the accurate color in a moment. But yeah, so that's what we went with and it was great. You know, it's a darker color. You know, we went from like a really white bathroom to like, okay, let's, I want to say black and white kind of bathroom. It was very mm. neutral, mm. but very bright. Yeah. And it's such a small space. I was thinking, God, do we really want to go with a color? Because that's going to make it feel smaller. Mm. But actually, it was quite the opposite. Yeah, it actually doesn't take away from the size of the room. We live in a basically a very white themed sort of home, as you can see just by looking in our kitchen. This is the only room that is this dark and rich. And I love that surprise when someone opens the door and they see that color just hits them and the quality, the Farrow and Ball paint colors are all premium quality. I loved it, it was a real treat and I'm so glad that we partnered with them because this was a great opportunity to make a small bathroom feel even more us and just yeah. give it a bit of creativity and just not be like a, oh, here's a small bathroom, let's paint it white. No, 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 let's go the other way. So I'm just gonna show you uh, just, just a little bit of how it was before. So a snippet of the old video of just showing you the original, because you need that for the effect. They need to see to the, for the effect. so small. What? The bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom right? was small, but I'm talking about the actual, like what we did to it. You need to see. Oh my God. You need to see exactly. So it went right from now. Beige. We're going to show you, yeah, you're going to show you now the beige and all that with the tub, the, tub, the beige tub. Comment below if you've got a beige tub. Bloody hell, beige the... tubs, hashtag beige tubs. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna show you that. Because yep. of the new color, 
we changed the hardware. All yes. the hardware has been changed in the bathroom. Looks Even the really mirror, the, the mirror above the sink. Perfect. Yeah, so it looks really good. Anyway, I'll stop waffling. Let's um, show you now and then at the end, we'll come back and give you some bathroom tips. Sharing these small bathroom tips for you. And I hope you have a pen and paper ready because there's some good ones in there and it's things that we learned along the way. So yeah, exactly. enjoy and sit Peace. back. Two point up. Home Goods last year I think it was originally white and Michael painted it black or actually spray painted it black you can see that's the back of it that's the front he's completely covered the glass so that he can spray it this time to a kind of a brass gold color to go with the faucets also this is the paint uh, spray paint that Michael has been using to spray the mirror frame in case you guys are, are wondering Do you find it quite easy? No. Oh. <laughs> Five stores. No. Do you find spraying the mirror quite, you uh, know? <laughs> it's not hard. The hardest part always with anything is prepping. Right. That's where you got to take your time. How long does it need to dry, do you reckon? Doesn't take long. the actual mirror right there it's obviously been protected from the spray but yeah I think one more coat and then we can hang this puppy up mirror it's been sprayed to match the faucet which is like a bronzy bronzy gold color I think we're gonna need one more coat see there's little spots there little patches but it's looking mm, pretty good wait to get this in that's what she said so this door is reclaimed we found it from an architectural salvage yard you know how we like to do that in this home so we love that so i'll let you do the honors michael and open the door so you can see how it looks right now i'm just using my finger oh boy here we go here we go this is the actual true color of it there's the door the door matches it as well it's really rich color when you open it and then you see the hague blue paint that we decided to go with um like i said before it is a very rich kind of blue and it's i love it it's stunning um you saw how this was before it was all white for the walls and we've kept this the way it is which is obviously the gorgeous slate gray kind of marble color we've got here we love this i just love the finish of it i love that it's quite dramatic as well we are in the process of switching out the shower handle here to it's going to be brass gold to match with the shower head because we went to this dramatic color with faro and ball we wanted to switch out the four sets so they were originally black and i'll insert so you can see here what it was and this is what it is now just dramatic but I love it and I like that we changed the faucets out because had we had black it would just it wouldn't stand out but this makes it look so much more luxurious and Michael's DIY on the mirror made it gold oh yeah of course the mirror how can I not forget this mirror was originally black spray painted black by Michael we got it from our home goods and because we went with the gold faucets now because of the dark dramatic paint color we well paint Michael Michael spray painted the mirror so I love it it just looks so good and I love everything else is more or less the same even the the lilies even the uh, orchids pop against the the wall 
I think the vanity stands out just as nice. I was a little concerned that it wouldn't, right. but the wood looks so rich now next to it. It really does, and it, it's such a nice, and the finish on this looks like it's got a sheen to it, doesn't it? The paint, it's got like a, it's like a semi-gloss. Semi-gloss. Semi yeah. It's absolutely, I love it. Really dramatic, um, for us anyway, but I love jewel tones, you guys know that. And I just think it's such a nice way to add something interesting to a small bathroom. And don't be afraid, because the room is small, to not go with something that's bold like this is. So I think it came out absolutely brilliant. And that consultation, that color consultation with them on the phone, they nailed it because this color looks stunning. Hello, here we are with the new bathroom. I just love this color, it's just great. As you can see when you shut the door, it's the same blue. So it's like encased in all of this blue. And then I turn around and then you can see, obviously see this shower. So came out really, really nice. I'm really pleased and it's a great update and I love it. It feels very grown up now. And it's the only room Can't that is, nice. yeah. Really, really it's nice. the only room that's this color. give you or we wanted to give you some of our small bathroom tips these yes. are the things that we have learned through trial and error um, and just some of the knowledge that just Michael has because he has a lot of knowledge he's very humble about it but there's a lot of things he just knows how to do and I go well, that's a tip that's a tip true true, true. tell him tell him yes. so we've got them written down they're on Michael's phone so we're just quickly going to bash through them all and hopefully this will help you if you've got a small bathroom and you want some small bathroom decor ideas or just small bathroom Tips, yep. this is this part for you. Okay, so in our particular order, should we start the top? It doesn't have to be in any particular order. Okay, so this... We'll, we'll um, just talk in general. Okay, go on in. Yeah, I'm thinking like the first and foremost, obviously, is you want to make a small space look big. And there's certain tips and things that you can do to make a small space feel bigger than what it actually is. Um, I guess obvious things would be toilet. Do the wall toilets instead of the toilets that have the tank. So it's called tankless toilets, I guess. That's what we have. Um, and we'll show you a cutaway here of ours. Right. And basically the tank is inside the wall versus being outside. And then it's also off of the ground. So there's space underneath it. So basically it's just a toilet hanging off of a wall. Right. And it gives the illusion of, not the illusion, but it just creates more floor space, which in turn creates the feeling of having more space in general because a standard toilet you've got the toilet and then you've got like the tank on top of it and all of that is like taking up space visually and literally as well so everyone asks me how do you access the tank so there are flush there's a flush plate on the wall and then behind that plate gives you access to service the actual tank if you will but the tank is inside the wall okay. and it's fairly easy to do so there you go. That's how you do it. So I like it. So yeah, it's good. All right. So um, another thing is uh, I would suggest getting rid of a shower curtain if you can, because this is an investment having a glass partition instead, if you have a shower. Um, first of all, if you're going to have a small bathroom, uh, we would suggest if you don't use the bathtub a lot, removing the bathtub completely, which is what we did, and just switching to a standing shower. Uh, because that instantly takes up uh, a lot less space and visually and physically than a bathtub would yep. and at the same time if you can invest in like I said a glass partition instead of having, having any kind of like you know um, 
curtain go across. When alone, it's easier to clean. Easier to clean Less, and, and it looks better. Yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't look nice when curtains exactly. are like dirty. It's like right, obviously, and it doesn't. It doesn't. It and also the glass partition helps with just visually creating a see-through, transparent effect. So if there's no breaking mm -hmm. up. There's no wall effect created. So you can see all the tiling or whatever through the glass, and so that's a really good idea God, if I you can really invest. Imagine if we didn't have that glass, that that bathroom would feel so much smaller. It would, because you just have that curtain. Even if you retract the it curtain, would be like a wall, like it's just there, and it's just got the we got the pole. You can't retract the pole, <laughs> right? So the pole is always there on display. So go, 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 go. it's an investment, though. Yeah. So that's if you can do something like that. Well worth it. Exactly, sure. well worth it. Another thing that is well worth it is um, because the room is much smaller, you can afford to buy better quality things because you don't need as much of them. Yeah. Whether it be the tiling for the floor, like the herringbone that we got, that was fairly expensive, but we made sure that we didn't need much of it because the room, the, the amount we needed was such a small amount, yeah. we could afford to buy it. Right, so you can apply that theory for anything in a small bathroom. It could be quality paint, you know, there's much less um, wall space. You quality can, so, your quality well. wallpaper as well, because there's some really cool ones out. So, same principle tiling. Uh, so, yeah, it's less space, so less money spent on quality. And small spaces, don't be afraid to make it more than just like everything doesn't have to be white. Right. Um, we did do that. Yeah. We, well, initially. yeah. We did. Yeah, and and that was fine. And that's and that's kind of how we, we like white spaces. I mean, duh. Look at the room we're in. Right. Um, and it does create a feeling of airiness and openness. But at the same time, it's nice to if you have a small bathroom. The only time you're really in there is when you're going in to do whatever you got to do. So why not make it a bit more dramatic, bolder? Um, and this is to me a small bathroom is the perfect chance to go like literally buck wild and just do whatever you want with like crazy colors wallpaper um, Just really interesting different things that you wouldn't normally do even galleries I've seen like people put like really cool like artwork in, mm. in a small bathroom and they'll just do like, a, like a gallery of them yeah, Because it's, nice. it's, a, it's a wow effect in a small space um, Let me think uh, what we got vanity there? Open yep. vanity versus a yes. closed vanity. Like ours is the reclaimed wood and we made sure to get something that was open because again, visually it creates the effect of having a lot more space than if we had uh, doors, doors on like them, that. which yeah. kind of makes the room smaller because it creates like a corridor effect. So, and also it just allows you to display things like uh, rolled up towels and mm -hmm. whatever else, magazines, whatever you want, slippers, I don't care. You can use that space for that as well. Yep. Um, let me see what else have we got down here. Well, we've actually done quite a few of them. Well, painting number one. Like mm -hmm. when I say painting, like we bought a mirror, and mm, spray instead paint. of yeah, instead of just sticking with the same color. In fact, we painted it black because it was natural wood color, mm -hmm. and I painted it black to match the faucets and stuff that we had mm -hmm. had keyword, and then decided. We're going to go with a different color. Yeah, so we went to this, the, the color that we've got now. So I think the point is in relation to a small bathroom. Right, you can spray paint things, change the color of things yeah. using spray paint. And that applies to any size room actually. So not just necessarily to a small bathroom. But I think the point with the mirror, at least for a small room, is go with a large mirror. Because that will instantly help the room feel much bigger. It's more reflection and creates depth visually um, when you're in there. Uh, and that makes a massive difference. Just check, check it for yourself. And that's a very inexpensive decor tip to have a large mirror inside a small bathroom. Yeah, go oversized without a doubt. Even though yeah. it's a small room, oversized will always work to your benefit. Um, even when we talked about the shower head, it's one of those rain shower heads. Now standard height on that is six feet, but because it's such a, a small bathroom and we do have tall ceilings, I said to Karen, let's go up another foot so it adds more height to the shower area, but also visually you don't have this shower head hanging by you, you know, lower down, mm -hmm. it's up higher. So it looks nicer, one, and then two, it functions better. Because <laughs> when you're in the shower, you don't have something like right above your head. Right. And you know, it just, it visually makes the place look bigger. It really does. Yeah. Um, Unifor, unify hardware color. Don't forget the hinges. 
that's a very good point as well. Um, when you've got a small bathroom especially, I think it really helps to have one uniform colour across all the hardware. So it could be the sink faucets to the uh, shower head, uh, the shower, what do you call that handle that turns it on and off? Uh, the shower body. The shower body. <laughs> That, Technical right? Terms here, yeah, so, and even the door itself, because the door is going to be very close to you because it's in a small bathroom. Even changing mm -hmm. the door handles and the hinges for the door when the door opens and closes, keep that all the same color family if you can. If it's all uh, silver or gold or black. Speaking of doors, if you have a small room, change the swing of the door from being into the bathroom to outside the bathroom. So when you go to open up the bathroom door, most bathroom doors, or bedroom doors for that matter as well, interior doors open in. Um, but if you have a small bathroom and you don't really have the space or you want to try and create more space, have the door pull out instead. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did with ours. Right, because it's a small room. So you want as much space as you can when you're going mm -hmm. in. And also you change the door itself in order to accommodate the counter, the new counter. Yeah, well, we moved the door. Right, you move the door, sorry, yeah. yeah. So that was another, that's a tip as well. I mean, that's, it's really thinking out of the box because I would never have considered that was an option. Right. Fake plants. Oh my God, yes. Fake plants are great. There's so many good fake plants out there now. They really are, actually. And they really do look good and they, they, they're, they're not inexpensive. You can get inexpensive ones and you can get very good quality, top of the line ones that people Home literally Depot has have no really idea. You don't really? Have to get, that's no, this, actually, yeah. Those right there. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is a very good example. Of right. Inexpensive. They're small, they're cute, Sucky. they add color, they add life. They do. Um, and you don't have to do anything do you know to maintain what? them. Even close up, this looks like a real. This looks oh, like a succulent. A succulent. Suc it looks like. Because yeah. I bought a bunch of succulents, real ones, from Home Depot. Yeah. And they, they didn't last. They died, yeah. I'm just, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I just can't keep things alive as far as like plants are concerned. Why are you keeping me alive? Shut up, you're not a plant. <laughs> if I'm talking about like, <laughs> like the fig tree Instagram. She does cook. You already funny. know. You already know about that. What? What did you say? No, I said you do. She cooks. She does cook. That's what I meant by you keep me alive. Oh, I was like, like, I'm I was not like, the one that hell? always cooks. I anyway, like, it's like off topic, right? What's that got to do with plants? I'm like, anyway. Um. Well, because you kill plants and you don't kill me. But yeah, it's a stretch. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what was. Oh, fake plants. Get yes. fake plants because they don't die. If you're like me and just can't seem to make them stay alive, get fake ones. The room is small in the bathroom, especially if you don't have much light in there and they need light or whatever, and you just don't want to deal with the maintenance. I just think, just that alone, just get some good quality fake ones and it makes the room look really good. good. Don't be afraid to mix materials. Yes. Even if it's a small bathroom, and I think it adds more interest. So we have in our small bathroom, the reclaimed wood. So it's very rustic, kind of um, just very chunky and unfinished and raw. And I love that for the counter. That contrasts with the smooth oval, oval kind of shaped sink. I think that is everything. Um, those are, oh, what? Shower niche. Oh yeah, shower niches. I love those. I'll show you the cutaway here, the shower niche that we have. Yeah. I it's, love them. Instead of having like shelving or like holders and you know, you see like everything from. Yeah, and it can look a bit busy, yeah, but if you want something that looks more contemporary and clean, just. Um, build in a little niche. Yeah, if you're looking to redo the wall of your bathroom, then um, take that into consideration just putting a niche in before because of those reasons and you can do them in different ways you could just have one square I'll show you a little picture here of, on the screen here some that we've seen online mm -hmm. we went for one that was just went all the way across and it's great just to hold any products that you've got anything faux plant yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean but Actually, that's, that's a good idea i like the idea of putting faux plants in there yeah, we could. On a niche. But it looks nice. It's nice, you know what I mean? So that's a good idea if you're, you know, for a small bathroom. It just looks very clean and simple. And I think that is more or less it for small bathroom tips. So just be open to, you know, just experimenting a little bit. And I hope that these tips give you some ideas and just makes you, after you watch this video, you're going to go into your bathroom and go, hmm, yeah, maybe I should get a bigger mirror.
Yeah. And I say don't be afraid <laughs> <No>. <laughs> to don't be afraid to try and move things around or cut things open like the wall, like you were talking about the niche. Even with your existing shower or bathroom, you can take out just the section of tiles and actually install a niche without having to break out everything. So it's not like you have to completely okay. rip out your entire bathroom to do something like that. Okay. And do you recommend that for people may ask, does a contractor do that? Like if you don't who does that? Who I, do will, I will say when it comes to showers, and if you're not familiar with how to work with tile, um, certainly hire someone because water is your biggest enemy when it comes to your home. And if you don't do it correctly, you could actually have water leaks mm -hmm. and that can create more Build problems down the road. Build you and all kinds of stuff building and, up. Yeah, that would be, that would get worse. Exactly. Sure. Now you create a problem right. where there wasn't. So obviously make sure to, to hire professionals for, for stuff like that. But I think that's everything. Um, leave a comment below on your favorite tip for your bathroom or a small room in general. Yeah. And do not forget to check out Farrow and Ball for their fantastic paint and wallpaper. We love, I love that color that we've got yeah, in there now. It's nice. It really is. I, I wasn't, nice. I was like, I want to go for it. But then at the same time, I was like scared that it was going to come out really like, I don't know. I didn't know what was going to happen. Once you've committed, you've committed. But now it's done. I love it. And I'm so glad that we went dark. It's a beautiful dual tone color. The bathroom looks more luxe. It looks expensive, yes. especially against the gold faucets with it. Oh, color combination know, was nice. amazing. But I have to admit, when we painted it, there was nothing in there because we pulled everything out. Right. And just seeing that color, I was kind of like, ooh, I don't know if we made the right choice. Right. But as soon as we started putting everything back in, like the wood against the color, the, the hardware against the color, and then just everything really started to come together. And then once you see this cohesiveness, it's like, wow, this really mm. is beautiful. This really did elevate the, the bathroom. It did. For something so small, because the rest of the house is very white and bright and airy. Yeah. So this is the one room in our home that is this bold kind of color. And I love that. It really yeah. makes it makes that bathroom look special instead of looking like blah. Like, oh, oh yeah, of course it's a white wall. What else would it be? It's not that anymore, and I love that. It's a nice, it's just a great talking point, and it's a great flash of color when you open the door, yeah. sorry, and you get that surprise. Yeah. So I think that's really, it was great. So I'm really happy about that. Anyway, I'm done. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you got some inspiration about small decor bathroom ideas, <laughs> and subscribe to my channel as well. Yes. Um, I want to do a giveaway when I hit 300,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button. Yeah, I'm going to do something really, it's going to be a really good one because I would not have been here, we would not have been here if it was not for you lot. Yes, thank and you. And yeah, I want to make sure I do a really good giveaway for you. That is it. Uh, enjoy your weekend and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, you can turn it on now. Okay. <laughs>